Hey guys, I'm Davey Wavy, and I'm here with Oliver Hunt. Hey. Hey, thanks for having me. We are in Greece filming Flesh of the Gods for Himorous.tv, and we were talking a lot about OnlyFans because you have a really popular OnlyFans account, but also, like, I think there's this whole side of OnlyFans that people don't really know. Absolutely, yes. The V's are the secrets of OnlyFans. So the first thing is a list of forbidden words. Yes. So these are things that can't be in the, I guess, the description, right? Yeah, the description. When you, when you type the caption for the video. Okay, so what are some of those words? Definitely go to the king. Sin. Piss. Fisting. Blood. Scat. Public. Beyond. Even bareback, though. Bareback. Uh, gangbang. Choking. Everything that is like violence, when you're trying to post it, it will, will not let you. So the next one is that OnlyFans takes a 20% cut of your revenue. Yes. So if someone joins, and how much is yours? $9.99. $9.99. So I think most people would think that you're getting $9.99. Yeah, that's the perception from everyone. Right. How much of the $9.99 do you actually get? 8%. But then there's taxes taken oh, with that. Yeah, hold on a minute. They take this and they have to pay this. And there's also um, expenses that go to the yeah. video as well. Yeah. Also, like a 20% cut for OnlyFans is not unreasonable because like for Himro's TV, like the credit card companies, when you process a transaction, because it's worn, take like a huge percent. And then you have to pay for the hosting company, you have to pay for the platform that it exists on, like licensing the software. So like it does add up really quick. So 20% is not that bad, it is, it but is. you're definitely not getting $10. Which is <laughs> the next one, this is similar to the first, is forbidden acts. There's all these things that you can't do on OnlyFans, and those include things such as... It goes like hand by hand with the forbidden words, so everything that is forbidden and then to type it, I guess it would be, it would be for But you can film a bareback video, but you can't type that as a word. Yes, that's, that's a yeah. confusing so, one. I'm telling you, the internet used to be fun. Next they're gonna say you can't like come in someone's mouth. Oh, that would be fun. I mean, come on. Come on. Yeah. Okay, the next one is that cruising videos on OnlyFans are not actually cruising videos. <laughs> okay, you just broke like the yeah, excitement for my fans. <laughs> it's all lies. it's all smoke and mirrors. There's a practical reason. Yes, of course. Like um, we as performers need to, we just need to follow rules like um, legal forms, IDs. Everyone that is involved into the practice of having sex on camera, means we need to have their consent. It's um, paperwork. Like, yeah. So if someone's reaching into your car, jerking your dick off, or you're in a bathroom somewhere, like that person needs to sign a release form yes. in order for that to go up. But it's okay. It's like role playing. Like the fantasy can still be fun and exciting, even though. That's yes. not what you're actually talking about. But it's actually, yeah, yeah. yeah it's actually. Well, when you watch like something on Pornhub and it's like, you know, like some stupid scenario, like you know that that's not actually happening mm -hmm. and it's still the fantasy that makes it fun. So the next one is that there's this whole thing that happens on the back end. Like there's editing, there's a cinematographer, there, and not always. The video doesn't just go from your phone to OnlyFans. From the moment that we started on OnlyFans, we just like, we start wearing many hats, you know, and then you just, at some point you start to delegate hiring a cameraman. It takes a lot of time. This, by the way, is the same thing with YouTube. That like you have to wear a lot of hats. You have to be entertaining on camera. Well, some might argue that, but you also have to be good at editing, good at marketing, good at social media as well. Like there's all these pieces that go into it. Last but not least, OnlyFans. Even though for a lot of people it's synonymous with porn, that's not why the platform was specifically created. And there are non-porn accounts on there. Yes, absolutely. Um, OnlyFans. There's three non-porn accounts on there. There's three. <laughs> Maybe four. A baking yeah. show, a fitness show. Exactly, yeah, <laughs> different. A private yoga lesson or cooking, uh, baking yeah. um, skills. And then all these sluts came along <laughs> and... <laughs> we took over. <laughs> yeah. Selling their pussy on OnlyFans. <laughs> Speaking of pussy on OnlyFans, where can people get more of you? Uh, Instagram is Oliver Hunt XS and Twitter will be Oliver Hunt XXS. Also, you can see more of Oliver on Himorose.tv. Speaking of which, we need to get that pussy on set for, right <laughs> for the next video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and as always, more to come.